This small country is known to have the largest cave system in Central America, and it is the only country in Central America with a monarch. Yes, Queen Elizabeth II is the head of state. We are talking about Belize, and it is the latest travel destination highlighted on AustinTravels.com. Maury Elbel joins us now to talk a little more about your recent visit there. Good morning, Maury. How are you today? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? I'm doing good. I was reading the article. You sound like you had a, a, a fantastic time. We really did. We just got back from Ambergris Key, um, which is the largest of about 450 keys off the coast of Belize. Um, it runs kind of, it's in very close proximity to the Belize Barrier Reef, which is the second largest barrier reef um, in the world. And so because of that, it's really Belize's epicenter for snorkeling and diving and it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, snorkeling and diving was uh, was what you had on your agenda but then you had you know a an injury and instead your your plans changed. I'm glad you're doing better and that hopefully you really were able to take in um, Belize for what it is relaxing and recuperating. Yes, exactly. Well, and that's one of the things we stayed at the Victoria House Resort and Spa, which is on Ambergris Key. It's this beautiful, luxurious, long standing 42 room room resort. They've got um, accommodations ranging everything from these cute, romantic, cozy thatch roof casitas to luxurious oceanfront villas with private pools. Um, they've got a sprawling white sand beach, two sparkling pools, um, amazing on-site restaurants serving lunch, dinner, breakfast every day, um, and a full service spa. So as you said, when I, I almost didn't make the trip, but we went and it was, what I love about this resort is it's really like the perfect resort where you can just unplug, relax, lay by the beach and read, sip a rum drink by the pool and just you know, relax and, and not do much of anything, but it's also perfectly positioned to do whatever adventures you want, um, both on the island, in the water, um, and on the mainland. Yeah, as, as much as you, uh, as, as much or as little as you want to get out of it, really, it's up to you what, what's, what's on your agenda um, for vacation, what vacation means to you. Uh, for our viewers exactly. who maybe uh, would like to travel to Belize, what's your advice for planning a vacation there? Well, we love the resort we stayed at. Um, the flight getting there is um, you fly into Belize City. There are not, unfortunately, direct flights from Austin, but there are from Houston and Dallas. Once you're in Belize City, you can take a Tropic Air flight. It's a small commuter plane. It's about a 14 passenger plane. I always, uh, we used to live in the Caribbean, so I always compare these to like minivans with wings, but <laughs> it's really fun. It's smooth and scenic, beautiful, easy flight. Um, you, you land in San Pedro, which is the largest settlement on Ambergris Key. And um, right there, it's just a golf cart right away um, to the resort. And, and that's another interesting thing about the island. Everyone gets around. The main mode of transportation is golf carts. So you can rent a golf cart right at the resort or in town, and you can get wherever you want, you know, to the shops um, on the island, or if you want to go venture out. We, one day we went out to Secret Beach, which is on the other end of the island, and that was a really fun adventure, but it's like an hour-long golf cart ride, so you have to be ready, <laughs> ready for those bumps. <laughs> well, it sounds like paradise, and I'm glad, I'm glad you're doing good and that you enjoyed yourself. Maury Elbow with Austin Travel Magazines, thank you so much for joining us today.